For the 18th year, the annual Connecticut Challenge charity bike ride brought out hundreds of riders. The tradition raises money for cancer survivors and patients here in Connecticut. News 12's Shosh Bedrosian spoke with one young cancer survivor who comes back every year. It's the brink of morning. The weather definitely um, is on our side today. As the sun rises, these early birds are already on their bikes in Fairfield, ready to go. Today's the Connecticut Challenge. We've been gearing up for this for months. Over 400 riders are in full gear this year, ready to hit their different routes from 10 to 100 miles. We have so many survivors that ride the course um, and are here volunteering. Um, and you're just constantly reminded that someone else is doing something harder. The ride raises money to help those battling cancer and survivors access exercise and nutrition programming. And when you're on the bike, you're you're speeding, you're speeding down a hill, and it's this feeling of freedom and endless possibilities. For 19-year-old Maya Oberstein, she carries her smile and determination in every challenge she faces. Well, I was diagnosed with osteosarcoma, which is bone cancer, and I was diagnosed with that in my distal femur. Maya's leg was amputated when she was 12, but with years of hard work, she got back to doing the activities she loves. It takes determination, confidence, really pushing yourself one and being driven to exceed expectations and to be amazing. That's why she's been coming to Connecticut Challenge for years. It's a group that really gets you that they're all here. You know, all these bikers come to support us cancer survivors. So we're standing at the starting and the finish line of CT Challenge here, and cancer survivors keep telling me this is not a race. This is a time for everyone to come together to enjoy a nice ride, especially for those who have overcome so many obstacles just to get to this point. This is about camaraderie. It's about being together as a community, not about who finishes oh, first, since we're not leaving anyone nice behind. Work. We're just starting a movement. In Fairfield, Shosh Bedrosian, News 12, Connecticut. And for more information on CT Challenge, head to news12.com.